when we were thinking about what we could do to commemorate David Nagel's life and contribution to Oroville, that it would be amazing if we could have a little scholarship fund that could support two, three, four, five students a year to study something that they're really passionate about for the environment. What we want to do is support that youth just for their basic needs. So the equivalent of a maintenance, an Oroville maintenance, which is around $250 a month. So if we can get that sort of money for 12 months and say to that young person here, here's a maintenance, we're looking after your basic needs. Now what we want is your energy, passion and commitment to studying the environment. So we're looking at trying to raise, say for five students, that's $15,000, the basic amount. And if we can add an extra $5,000 to that, then we could even give them that extra travel grant, which would be, I think, amazing for a young person to have that opportunity. Okay, the Oroville Botanical Gardens was started because we wanted to um, create a space where people could come and learn about the tropical dry evergreen forest. For the last 23 years, we've gone on an incredible journey where we started with an empty piece of land and we've now created a beautiful gardens where people come throughout the year, um, either as visitors or students or volunteers or permanent members of staff. And we have um, a wonderful team here. And we engage in projects about conservation, ecological restoration and education. And often the focus is the tropical dry for green forests. So we do a lot of planting projects that enable us to recreate that particular type of forest. Um, but we also engage with other people doing other things. Um, we've done mine restorations and in those places some of the species of the tropical dry green forest are useful um, and other species from more deciduous areas are also useful. We also run uh, an ecological horticulture course where we take on students every year, 15 or so, for four months and teach them about the um, skills necessary really to run projects on their own. What kind of things can the students study? They could study uh, different types of fungi. They could study the germination of different plants. They could learn to identify all the different species of the tropical dry green forest, which is 400 species. Imagine that if a kid came here and said, I want to learn all 400. That includes lianas, shrubs, bulbs, trees, all sorts of plants. We can teach them that knowledge. We can open the doorway and give them a gateway to learning about the environment. My name is Kadir Avan. I'm 21 years old and I was born and brought up in Oroville. So I went through all the schoolings in Oroville till 12th grade. And now currently I'm doing my uh, undergraduate botany, BSc botany. So I'm in my second year now. I was born here and I've seen all the transformations of the forest. So for example, I've seen a barren land becoming into a dense forest. So this inspired me a lot in the field of ecology and botany. I'm also interested in uh, wildlife photography. So I would say that is my passion at the moment. Other than wildlife photography, uh, my new passion is learning plants names. So even before I used to go in the forest, uh, look at plants, identify them, but I never had an urge to learn the botanical names and scientific names. So since now I'm starting to study botany and everything, I'm slowly learning few plants names. Other than that, I also recently got inspired by a person. His name is Sharon. I met him in Botanical Garden. He's a butterfly expert. Now I'm also starting to learn butterflies, the names of butterflies. I would like to study more further. So I'm studying undergraduate botany, but I would like to study postgraduate botany. My name is Kiran Baldwin. I was born in Oroville. I studied in the schools of Oroville until high school. And then I decided to take a gap year. When I grew up, um, in the forest in Anusuya, which is a forest in Oroville that my father has been stewarding since about 30 years. Both my parents were planting, so I've always been connected to nature in a certain sense and always exposed to forestry and the environment and all things related. So it was during COVID when I guess for most people everything changed and I had spent some time away from home and when I came back, I decided that I wanted to, to explore this a little bit more. And so 
I reached out to Paul, and then I did the course at the Botanical Gardens, the Ecological Horticulture course, and that really just opened the door. And from then on, I've just been going straight on. My main focus goes towards a project that is called the Global Biodiversity Standard. It is a standard that's being developed. It is a certification scheme, which is primarily focused on recognizing people that are doing tree planting work in the right way and mentoring those who may need more knowledge. Then I'm also involved with some projects in Oroville where we have planted some endangered species in different groves. And it's to make sure they survive and two is to learn about them. My plans for the future are to continue with the projects that I'm involved in, to continue networking with organizations from across the globe who are all actively doing restoration and ecology. And so my passion is really to try and help that, to try and learn through that, and to be involved in, in large scale tree planting projects, in large scale restorative ecology. This uh, Environmental Youth Scholarship, I think, is a great opportunity for young people to explore a passion. I really think that if this existed when I was in my gap year after high school, there's a, definitely a need for a project like this. I'm Manjula Aramugam. I was born and brought up in the international township of Oroville. Post my BSc in biology, I came back to Oroville wanting to gain more practical and applied knowledge. This was the phase where I was an apprentice, an intern. I worked across three different projects in Oroville, in waste management and sanitation, consulting on green energy and other forms of alternative energy. And third project was undertaking reforestation work across India. Post these three years, I decided to pursue my master's in Brussels in human ecology with a specialization in restoration ecology. Currently, I'm part of the Oroville Botanical Gardens. Paul, the director, and I are working together to develop a framework that looks at approaching, designing, and implementing restoration of post-mined landscapes. The idea behind this is to create a template, a framework, that can be widely applied by not just us at Oroville Botanical Gardens, but anybody wanting to undertake the restoration of post-mining landscapes, or any area for that matter. In the future, I hope to be part of this restoration ecology field, and as part of the Oroville initiatives, in which we can create a bigger impact, a positive change where we can leave the earth a little better than it is. My name is Mila um, and I grew up in Orovo, um, studying here. And then I went to the Netherlands to study liberal arts and science. And then after that, I went to the UK to do my master's. And I focused on environment and development. Then I came back to Orovo class in botanical gardens um, that helped me kind of gain more clarity. And then I realized that there was a kingdom that I really didn't know much about that drew me in quite a lot, which was fungi. Um, and so that inspired me to focus my ecology work on fungi. I think creating an opportunity um, for youth to be able to explore what draws them in and giving them that safety of being able to really dive into that and learn more about it, I think is really valuable. A lot of really fascinating research and a lot of direction for people who are really having trouble with finding that direction. Um, I think a lot of people, a lot of youth can't do that kind of work because there isn't the support. And I remember when I was a young character, I was at Edinburgh University studying ecology and forestry. And when I was in the third year at the college, someone gave me a grant to travel to India to come to Oroville. Stepping out of my life in the UK and coming here to Oroville. So for three weeks every day, I went round to the different people, to David Nagel. He was one of the people that I visited. 
and they were the people that drew me to Oroville. The inspiration for me to work with trees, to work with forest, came from that grant. So if we can give that sort of support back to the young people today to encourage them to work for the environment, that would be amazing. If you're watching this video and you feel that at some point someone in your life has given you a gift that has enabled you to take the first steps on a different journey, can you give a donation that will help a young person commit their life and explore their passions that are connected to the environment?